Mas, he would have been mental. Yo, my people, it is a huge away day today. We have got West Ham United away at the London Stadium, 2 p.m. kickoff. South London versus East London, you know what it is. It's going to be mad, it's going to be crazy. There's bound to be a bit of banter, a bit of little beef and that, you know, between the Palace and the West Ham supporters. There always is, trust me. Fortunately, we're sitting in the lower tier and they're waiting, but yeah, I can't wait. I'm really excited for today. Now, I know our way from, like I said in my preview, I said what I had to say about out in that preview and that, but our way from is shocking. I mean, what? No wins all season away from him in the Premier League. Only, what, three goals scored, three draws and two hammerings up north away to Manchester City and the other defeat being away to Everton and that as well. So we really need to improve it. I hope the players pick up today after that Southampton win. I hope they build on. we got Edouard and Decore returning and that as well. we got to be careful with Wolf because he's one yellow card away from a suspension. He'll be missing the Nottingham Forest game next week if he wants to get a yellow today. So we got to have that in mind. He's got to have that in mind. Zaha himself and he's got to be careful not to get into any trouble like he nearly did when he sort of nearly got sent off against Southampton for yap yappity yapping. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, but yeah, I hope we're having the hammers today. I'm confident, as, like I said in my preview, I'm going for a 2-1 win. Um, you know, I, I don't think West Ham are playing that well. Listen, if we can catch them on an off day, which hopefully will be today, then we will hopefully win. Fingers crossed on that as well. It will be nice to win away from home and dominate a game. So I'll see you lot on the way to the London Stadium. Eagles! <laughs> Big one. It's a big, big game. Obviously, London Derby. Yeah. Uh, not riding on the game. I think um, I've just looked at the team and I like the defence. Um, midfield, I think, could have had maybe Will Hughes in there uh, instead of Jeffrey Schlupp. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Front three is a bit, bit weird, um, but we'll just have to see how it rolls. If, if Zaha uh, is up front, he's up front. Yeah, if it's, yeah, yeah. If it's are you? Are you up front? Look, I think that it would be. I'm going to go 2-1 Palace. I'm going to go a bit boring. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Zaha will get a goal, and I'm going to go a bit out there. I think. I think uh, Decore is going to get a goal today. Bench looks a bit weak. Yeah. Um, you know, shame Luke is not playing. Um, he's been not been playing bad actually, so I think he deserves to, to, to play. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, Edward's out, injured. Um, so I'm not quite sure how we're going to deal with that. What the, we've got the formation there, but um, I think it's important that we, 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 we either keep a clean sheet with 20 minutes to go and try and get it, um, but I think we've got to get the first goal. What's your prediction I, again? I, I've, got it, I've got it as a 1-1. One, one. Kickoffs is about to start. The goal for Sele Gaita, left back midfield. He's there about to get and this is right back line, so I've got that spot on. Midfield is Schlup and Jure and Eze, and our front three is Ayu, Wilf, and Elise. So, yeah, be very interesting. I apologise for the quality. The view is a bit weird as well, but yeah, but can't wait. Hopefully, it'll be a good game. Google. Check 
looking out, man. First half ain't even finished. That's the way it goes. It's that time, you know. Feels like it, trust me. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we deserve it, you know. At times we've been sloppy. We didn't really deserve to fall behind, but it was a bit flat and depressing after that. But that goal's really just livening it up a bit. Come on, the balance. With my guy, James, what are your thoughts on the first half, man? First half, we played well for the first 20 minutes. But then when we came back, we looked more solid. One more. Two of those couple of the boys. Hopefully, a bit more of a, you know, just quality of our own product. And that's what I've been asked. At least they're just three stars. Doing well. Mitchell attack has been superb. I reckon. Vieira will be Matera on halfway through the second half and the likes of Ayu or potentially Nise, but yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we just keep it up. We did deserve to concede, but we responded well. Yeah, we're going to one-one. Yeah, our first away goal for God's sake, since August. Yeah, man, 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 since Oh, Mitchell. Oh, I mean, there's no one there! Shoot! 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 No, it's the keeper. Oh, what a save! What a save from Gaia. Foul anyway. <laughs> yeah, West Ham thought they were going to get another corner. My foot. I think he's injured badly now, Gaia. Oh, crap. Is this a live room? 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 Ben Rama off. Lanzini, he always used to bloody score against us, you know. Number 28, Thomas Suchin. That's not. A, we need to send a forward. That's where we need Mateta. Come on, Mitchell. Keep it on. Just keep the ball on. So after two games being injured, Takure is officially cropped, and yeah, Lucas coming on. It's not good at all. First time get a penalty. Anderson's just mucking around there. Are they gonna? Are they gonna review on far or, or disallow it or something? They didn't like a pen for where I'm standing, but what do I know? I'm about a million miles away from it. To London Stadium for you, but, you know, distance wise in that flipping hole. Come on. It's going to the monitor. Yeah, that's a, usually a penalty. Usually means it's a penalty. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, no penalty. Yeah, no penalty. Sit down and shut your noise. No penalty. Giving away from Mark Kane. Is there a refrigerator? Look at all these men walking out. Look at them. Look at them. Can't believe it over yet.
beautiful, beautiful stadium without the West Ham fans at the finest, you know what I'm saying? It's magic, he wears the magic hat And when he sees the match ball, that's how mad he's at He scores them with his left hand, he scores them with his right Absolutely banging the limbs let on the goal from Elise to the big deflection. But yeah, another win <laughs> coming from behind. How many of those are we gonna have to, you know, see this season, man? Absolute scenes afterwards as well. Beef between the Palace and the West Ham fans. It was just madness. It was a proper derby, a proper London derby. Probably one of the best away days I've been to for some time as well. But yeah, absolutely superb. Honestly, up the boys. It was a brilliant performance, and we deserve to be walking away with three points. Uh, big up to everyone who was in the vlog. It was a brilliant atmosphere. West Ham had a shocking home atmosphere. It was one of the worst home atmospheres I've ever seen in my flipping life. It was diabolical. <laughs> Honestly, the only fans you can hear were the Palace fans, really, in that as well. Want to credit Patrick Vieira for the substitutions and tactically getting his spot on throughout the matches that as well. Uh, my man in the match for me was so hard. Definitely, the guy was just unstoppable, really, and had the quality. It got us the three points, to be fair, overall with the goal. And I think he got the assist. Oh, Eze got the assist, but he played a bit of part in that as well. And credit to Elise with the goal in that well as well. You know, about time he scored. But yeah, up the Palace, man. Eagles. I mean, we've got to Nottingham Forest next week. I cannot wait. Imagine if we were to win that three wins in a row, and of course back-to-back -back wins after winning this one. So yeah, Eagles, man. Come on, the boys. Thank you.